is Thursday, August 29th, 2019. We're live 9 p.m. Eastern each and every Thursday here on the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. Thank you guys for joining me. Thanks to my admin, Adam, uh, for bringing everyone over, hanging out, and being an admin. We already have 35 of you watching, so thank you guys for being early here on the stream. Appreciate it. Just posted it out to Facebook and Instagram in case any of you are joining me from those platforms. Thank you for joining in. You saw the screenshot. You saw the thumbnail. And we got a little bit of a situation brewing here in Florida. We're going to talk about in just a minute. Uh, I just want to welcome everybody in, give everyone just a second to join me. And uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Casey. I'm the Rockstar Flipper. Uh, that is my name. If you can't see it, it's it's up here a couple different ways. Anyways, um, I talk about eBay, Amazon, and Poshmark buying, selling, making money, making a living, running a business, reselling, auction, storage, the whole shebang. We cover it all here with news, breaking news, updates, everything and anything you could want from the world of uh, online e-commerce and reselling. My, my, my mic, wait, my mic was unplugged. Can everybody hear me? Oh, sorry. Sound, 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 testing, testing. Can everybody hear me? Testing, testing. Oh, sorry. We had a, we had a, a, a temporary ceasefire on the microphone. What happened? I don't know. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Back sound, 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 sound. Okay. Yeah, we're back. My bad. Sorry, 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 sorry. I don't know what happened there. Hmm. Okay. Technical difficulties. Okay, so we're back. So yeah, we're going to talk about uh, the storm. We're going to talk about uh, emergency preparedness on eBay and uh, other platforms. We're going to talk about uh, just eBay and selling in general for fourth quarter. We're going to talk about a bunch of stuff. So um, loud and clear. Everybody's loud and clear. Yeah, I got this mic here that uh, that seems to be working when it feels like. I, I don't really know what's going on with this thing. It, it kind of sort of works. I don't know. It's a mic. Yep, see? See, look. See that? See that? That bright red light right there? That red light's supposed to mean it's working. Okay, yeah, behind the scenes. Okay, so let's jump into it. Welcome in and hello to everybody. Uh, I first want to say a huge thank you to Pat Dees and Kimmy for having me over on their live show just before. This one, if you missed it, go back and watch the replay. I'll link it at the end of this. Um, yeah, so, uh, wow, we're already over 100 people. So, um, caught you live, Thrifting Phoenix. Welcome in, Thrifting Phoenix. Such a sweetheart. Messages me on Instagram all the time. Uh, we're going to get on a one-on-one uh, -on -one chat soon enough, Miss Thrifting Phoenix, and uh, we'll cover everything that you need. Okay, so let's go to the uh, the thumbnail. Let's talk about it. Um, Fat Man, the Flipper, Alex in the house. What's up? Um, we are having a hurricane in Florida. So anybody who doesn't know or is new to this channel, I live in Tampa, Florida, just outside of Tampa, Florida. And we are currently in the middle of a uh, possible category four hurricane that's going to make landfall on the other coast. That is the Atlantic coast. I live on the Gulf Coast. Um, with that said, if you sell on eBay and Amazon, the post office may close and you may not be able to ship your packages, which can uh, impact your business. And so with that said, you may want to consider increasing your handling time. Um, obviously, it's not ideal, but it's what you have to do to run your business. And if for any reason you are late, eBay will help you in the event of a natural disaster, a terrorist attack, an emergency, anything of those type of things. If you tell me you went on vacation to Jamaica and you forgot your business, well, that's your problem. But anything that you can't control, like a, a hurricane, an earthquake, a tornado that affects you, eBay will back you up with the handling times, the defects, and the potentially uh, negative feedback that you may receive from a buyer. So just keep that in mind. Don't purposely try to get it or don't ignore it. But in the event that you get it, they will help you out. eBay is very, very good about that. And I appreciate what eBay does about that. And um, so we should all appreciate what eBay does for us um, with that sort of uh, that sort of um, you know that sort of uh, protection that we get from it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen with you guys right now. Can everybody see that that screen right there? Can everybody see what I got going on right there? Can we sell a hurricane on eBay? Uh, I don't know if anybody's going to want to buy it from you. Uh, Tammy's mom lives in Fort Lauderdale. A little concerned and worried. Yes, it's going to make landfall near there, so she needs to be very, very careful. 
Um, yeah, you guys can see that little uh, that little chart. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Uh, so it looks like late Sunday into Monday, it should make landfall, 2 p.m. Monday by Monday afternoon. That's what we're dealing with right there. Okay, so let's go back to my screen. Okay, so here I am. Um, okay, so long story short, if you are impacted by an emergency or uh, natural disaster, eBay will protect you. So just call them up and let them know what happened and you'll be good. Uh, now, I was reminded before the last live show that the post office actually closed on Monday anyways because whoop, ding dong me, forgot that it's Labor Day. So Labor Day is Monday, post office is closed. So for those of you with handling times of one day or two day over the weekend, you don't have to ship till Tuesday. So in the event that the post office is closed uh, because of the storm, it would have to be closed through Tuesday. If it is closed through Tuesday, you'll ship Wednesday and eBay will protect you. Uh, you know, obviously if you have longer handling times, you wouldn't have to worry about it anyways. So, um, okay. So, uh, am I ready for the storm? I'm always ready. Uh, Craig Hill from down in Australia, welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. Donatella, yeah, it's headed right from you. Uh, looks like it's gonna be the West Coast. Think cities like Fort Lauderdale. Think cities like uh, Daytona Beach, Jupiter, uh, Flagler. Those kind of towns are the ones that are gonna be uh, impacted. So, okay. Uh, Rockstar meteorologist as well. Yeah, I am. Uh, waiting on the 11 p.m. update. Agreed. Just Connie. Uh, the last day to ship is Saturday. Right. So Sunday, the post office is closed. Monday, it's closed. And Tuesday, depending on what the storm, do, uh, storm, do, so, the storm does, it may or may not be open. So just keep an eye on that as well. Javier over in Lakeland, Florida. Yeah, be careful, bud. Everybody over on that. Uh, uh, Clearwater, Deb should be okay. Um, how many... Labor Day hurricanes have been there. Uh, most hurricanes hit this week or next week. When we evacuated from Irma two years ago, it was on September 6th. So it was the week after Labor Day. Okay. Where is this state of Florida? <laughs> it's way down south, my friend. Florida at the bottom of the country. That's where we are. We're the deep south. Okay. So um, that covers that. So I want to move on to another uh, topic. Um, that we can cover since we, we kind of covered this hurricane thing. Uh, we'll be fine. We'll be okay. It'll probably get diminished by Orlando and Lakeland as it rolls through the state. It'll slow down. It'll break apart, and we will get a nasty storm, but we won't have that giant hurricane. Okay, so let's move on to this week. What have we been up to this week? What have sales been up to in quarter four updates? So one of the big news stories this week was on used cologne, perfume, and body washes, bath washes, um, and spray bottle perfume and cologne. So one of my very dear friends, Colleen, who happens to sell quite a bit of that stuff, made it clear to us on, I want to say Tuesday-ish, maybe Wednesday, that she was having issues with the listings. A lot of people started to spread it on Facebook and Instagram and social media. eBay's policy, those of you that don't know, how many of you in the chat sell used perfumes uh, body washes, the out of print like Bath and Body Works or the Love Spell from uh, Victoria's Secret. Does anybody in my chat sell that type of merchandise? Anybody at all? I'm going to give it a second. Let's see if anybody chimes in and says that they actually sell that merchandise. Anybody, 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 anybody? I do. Debbie does. Used you. I sell Health and Beauty, Borderlines. Nope. Um, so I'm going to, uh, uh, just Connie just said you, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Occasionally A&M Hunter. So a few of you do. Okay. So here's the thing. The F, uh, what is it? The FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, are they who covers it? Or is somebody else, the Health health, health, uh, health Administration? Um, some government overfunded um, organization makes the rules for this. And so the rules are as follows. For used bath and body makeup and cosmetics, it cannot be an item if it's used. If it's brand new, you can sell it, right? As long as it's real and authentic. If it's used, it cannot be an item that comes into direct contact with the user. So let's think lipstick. You would never sell a used lipstick, right? You'd never sell a used mascara brush or an eyeliner, things that actually touch somebody else and could touch you. You would never, ever use chapstick that's used. That's disgusting, right? You wouldn't use that. It's kind of common sense, but some people maybe not. But anyways, that's all bad. However, on a bottle of Axe body spray or cologne, that's not coming into contact. You're just spraying that. Now, yes, I know you could rub the lid or the, the spray area and then spray. I get that. But for the most part, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, is that who covers it? They are ones 
that say that that's okay, that you can spray because that's safe. And so it's always been that way. Now, one of the, the gray areas that I talk about is um, the body washes. Like you, you pop those lids like on the Bath and Body Works ones, like the apple cinnamon, whatever, and you, you squirt it out to your hand. It's kind of coming in contact, right? I, I don't really know the gray area on that. So fast forward to this week, Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever Colleen let me know about this, um, they had banned, they had blocked anyone from selling used colognes, perfumes, body washes. All of it was blocked. And then fast forward, I don't know, it had to have been at least four or five, six hours. Perfumes and colognes were open. Body sprays, perfumes, colognes, they were all back to normal to where you could list them used. Body washes and soaps and shampoos were blocked. Now, I have not checked on that since last night slash this morning. Can anyone tell me uh, for 100% sure that you've tried to list an item, body wash, um, shampoo, cologne, or not cologne, um, conditioner, something that's in a squirt bottle, not a perfume or cologne, but in a squirt, like a, 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 you know what I'm talking about, and it's let you list it on eBay or it is not let you list it on eBay used. I haven't talked to Colleen today. I forgot, um, but she sells that kind of stuff occasionally, and so I just wanted to know. Okay. Um, so that was the, that was kind of the update from this week as well. Uh, I want to say hello. Obviously, uh, I just mentioned it, but I did a chat just before this. And uh, Kimmy and uh, Pat were in the chat. Adam, if you can grab the link to the live show that we just did with Pat and Kimmy, that would be awesome. Uh, post it up here in the group. Um, and check out the live show we just did. It was awesome. They're very, very sweet people. And I love helping their channels. Um, they're both doing a great job reaching out to people, helping people, having big people on their channels. And uh, borderline hoarderish is Kimmy's name. She's in the chat right now. And um, yeah, so definitely check that out and make sure you subscribe to their channels as well. So, um, okay. Mysterium Lugosi, Lugosi, right? Used fragrances are still listed. Yeah, very good. Uh, that's good to know. It, it sounds like they let it go. Uh, did I sell that RCA recorder yet? No, but I got a best offer today that was a little bit low. They offered $12 on it. Um, okay, agreed with Watall Beast. What was the uh, the comment that I missed? Would you recommend opting into eBay's managed payments already or wait for all the glitches to occur and be fixed? I am waiting until they make me. Um, secondhand everything sold a bottle of Louis Vuitton for $80. A half a bottle, I'm sorry, a half a bottle. Yeah, that's expensive stuff. I don't doubt that you did, wow. Wade is here in the chat, Wade's Ventures. Now I remember who Rockstar is. Yeah, now I remember that Wade guy. Uh, Pat D 72, his number is 72 after his name, of course, uh, Adam just linked the live show. Um, so thank you so much. Make sure you hit that. Like, make sure you guys go check out all the wonderful people we have in the channel, Wade and Donatella and Adam and Pat and Kimmy, of course, just go check out and give everyone some support. Just subscribe to their channels. So, um, Wade, uh, is, is giving me a hard time. I understand fat man. Adam is in the chat as well. So, uh, Okay, so that was our two updates, the hurricane emergency preparedness and the used perfume. Um, I want to take questions from everyone else for the rest of the night. So let me know what questions you have. We've been in here 15 minutes. Um, 190 of you. Brian, welcome in. It's okay not to be uh, on time. I'm never on time. Um, I want to make sure I cover. I had a ton of emails and messages this week about a bunch of different random questions. And now I'm live. I can't remember any of them. But uh, some of them were about the hurricane coming. Some of them were about the perfumes. Some of them were about preparing for eBay Open next year, which is crazy because it's only a month since eBay Open. Um, oh, some people asked about the flea markets. Is it a great place to source? Uh, it is here typically. We had a really slow weekend last week, and now it's not going to go good for Labor Day because of this storm. It's going to shut everything down. Uh, your area may have a good flea market. You have to check it out. I don't really know everyone's areas. I know of a few cities with a few good flea markets. I know that San Diego has a really good swap meet. I know LA has one. Uh, I think it's in Pasadena, actually, at the Rose Bowl. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Um, but yeah. Thomas, hey, Casey, ever get stuff to resell from liquidators online or in person? Uh, both. I've done both. I have bought from liquidators, uh, liquidation sites online. I've bought from everyone that you've ever heard of, bstock.com, liquid directliquidation.com, liquidators.com, liquidation.com, bulk.com. I bought from all of them. Uh, I have bought uh, from people locally. Uh, I've bought out their inventories. So yeah, I've done both. 
Um, Fat Elvis Goods, do I use a repricer? No, I manually reprice because pretty much everything I list on Amazon, I list it for the price that I want. I just let it set and if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I will reprice them manually if I uh, have, if I think that they've been sitting too long, essentially. Um, SCH County AG Admin, interesting name. Uh, what is that for? Watched a video today, they mentioned private label. What is that? Uh, private label, good question. So private label, let me grab my favorite prop for my YouTube channel. Everyone knows what I'm about to grab here. Uh, my favorite prop for the YouTube channel is my red candle. So what is private label? Let's say that you went to alibaba.com or some other overseas source or some other distributor, and you decided you loved how these red candles looked and you think people would buy them for 20 bucks. And so you go and you buy these off Alibaba, AliExpress, or some other distributor, and they're like, hey, we sell you these red candles for $2. You're like, sweet, I'll take 100, 200 bucks, right? So you buy 200 red candles, they all show up. Now you've got a red candle, so you're gonna title them red candle, except they're not just red candle. They're Casey's red candle. And that's your private label, that's your name, Casey's red candles, boom. Just like Otterbox, their privately named label is Otterbox Incorporated, Otterbox Cases. Casey's Red Candles, that's my name. I've privately labeled these candles as Casey's Red Candles. Maybe it's just Casey's Candles, right? Anybody know what Yankee Candle is? Of course you do. Yankee Candle privately labeled their candles Yankee Candle. That's a name that you know, Casey's Candles. Now I'm gonna go buy 100 blue ones and 100 green ones and 100 white ones, and I'm gonna sell all of these. And so all I've done is bought a generic item with no name brand on it from China or from wherever it is, Brazil, it doesn't matter where I bought it from, it could be America and I've labeled it with my name on it. I create some stickers, I call it Casey's Candles, put a UPC on it, and off to the races we go. Now the problem with private label is, no one knows what Casey's Candles are. They know what Yankee Candle is and they buy it. I have to promote, market, advertise Casey's Candles, otherwise no one knows. So that's the problem with private label. It's a great business, but you gotta be able to promote, market, advertise, and pay money to do so. Okay, so. Forever 21 going out of business? Yes, it will not last long. I don't know if it'll make it through 2020. Uh, I think it will go out of business between the middle uh, end of 2020. Arlene DeCourcy, yes, that absolutely includes store reviews, closet reviews. Please email me at rockstarflipper at gmail.com. My favorite bulk supplier is probably bstock.com. What is the optimal number of items to have in an eBay store. Uh, you know, it really depends on what you're selling. If it's clothing and shoes, you need to have 500 to 1,000 items to make consistent sales and have a good income. Um, if you're selling electronics and, and, and tech and home goods, you could get away with 100, 200, 300 items. It all depends on what you're selling, how you're selling, etc. cetera. Uh, B-Stock is one of my favorite box suppliers. Should I put my posh closet on vacation mode? or let known of delay shipping due to the hurricane, Miami-Dade, Florida, Claudine, a Nestor. Um, I would recommend you ship out tomorrow on Friday and, and, and I think Posh will back you up like eBay will. Uh, somebody that's more familiar with Posh may wanna chime in there. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's see what else would I have missed. What have I missed, what have I missed? Uh, private label skincare runs seven to 800%, that's awesome. Has the trade war affected sourcing from Alibaba? Yes, prices have gone up and shipping is going up as we speak. If anybody doesn't know, between the US and China, the trade war and they're raising prices on each other. So anything you wanna buy from China and import into America has gotten a little more expensive, no doubt about it. Okay, what's up guys, been a while. 360 Vintage, what is up? Can I buy a case of Casey's Candles, Debbie? <laughs> Absolutely, I only own two though. <laughs> um, was the Louis Vuitton tie legit? So the consensus is that it's legit and that it is authentic. I still don't know 100%, but if anybody wants to chime in, I bought this Louis Vuitton tie for almost nothing. Does anyone think that it's real? I think it's real. Look, that's the front of it. I know it's hard to see with the camera. Look at the tags on the back, right? There's the tag on the back end. Louis Vuitton Paris, and also it has the Louis Vuitton logo on the front, small side here, see that? I think it's real. Uh, I paid about a dollar for it. I think it's real, and I think it's worth about 40 to 50 bucks if it is, uh, at least 35, 40, but um, probably more than that. 
Uh, I think it's legitimate. I think it's real. And my biggest tip off is this Louis Vuitton Paris with a good handmade tag, a good flip fold, good stitching. Uh, everything looks real on it. So whoever asked about the Louis Vuitton tie, we'll see. We'll see. I think it's real. I think it's good. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Any pointers for suits? Uh, size means everything on suit. Obviously the brand means, but size means everything. Uh, when I buy things for resale at wholesale, mostly eBay, some of it Amazon. Some of it. The electronics and tech are Amazon. What do I think about store vacation mode? I never put my store in vacation mode. I don't like it. I don't like it either, but when I leave town, I don't have really a choice. Uh, Donatello is having a meeting October 1st in West Palm Beach. I'm going to have to take a drive. It's about two and a half hours for me. I would love to come to West Palm Beach. Um, let's see what else do we got going on. Uh, I'm thinking it's real. I'll buy your tie. Yeah, I, I think it's real. Check the inside skinny small side. Yeah, I did check the skinny side of the inside. It looked pretty good. Everything looked solid on it. The stitching looked good. Even when you fold the um, – even when you fold down, look, even when you fold, let me see if I can get this on camera. Even when you fold the little skinny side, look, the stitching is a little loose on there, but look, it still says, let me zoom in, zoom out. It still says Louis Vuitton Paris right there. See it? See that stitching? That looks really good to me. That's why I thought it was. I have a professional Louis Vuitton buyer that lives near me. I'm going to take it down to her and see what she says too. So. <laughs> Shane says evacuate to Savannah. I have never spent any time in Savannah. I've driven through it, but never spent any time. Steve Freeman, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thanks, Adam, for linking the training package. If you guys need training and coaching calls, they are linked there. Adam, put them in there. 50 bucks for the training package, $100 for the training plus coaching calls. It's well worth it. I'll help you uh, get to where you need to be. 360 Vintage. Uh, just started using List Perfectly the other day. Could be a game changer. Have you used it? Yes, we are currently using it right now. Uh, we had a video about it. We interviewed the owners of it, and it's a fantastic platform. Vix Village live in Jessup. Jessup, Maryland? Jessup, Maryland is not far from where I used to live. Um, way back in the day, that is. Way, way back in the day. Okay. Um, tips on improving listing photo efficiency for volume sellers. Okay, so great question, Walta Beast. Um, yeah, so you have to have a system. You have to have batches of like 10, 15 items at a time. Thankfully, I have help. Uh, my fiance helps list me in, or list for me and take photos. Um, you have to have a system. You have to really just sit down and not overwhelm yourself. Do 10 at a time. Don't try to do 50 or you'll overwhelm and you'll never get anything done. Like that's one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you. Um, do I still use CNC Wholesale? Yes, CNC Wholesale is owned by Chris Thompson, a very good friend of mine, very close. Uh, we text with each other almost every day. Uh, he lives about three miles from me, and uh, he has a fantastic business, and you can still hit him up and ask questions and, uh, and buy from him if you're interested. So definitely hit him up. Uh, List Perfectly is still a couple days back. If you're on the wait list for List Perfectly, it's a few days in the wait list uh, hopper, three to five days, so give him a little time. Um, Steven, good job on 10 items. Make sure you call every month to have your listings, uh, increase your listing limits. Um, what do I think about wholesale, wholesale to be, you mean B2B wholesale? Uh, are you trying to be the seller or the buyer? Pat D's $3 super chat. Thank you so much. Make sure that is whose channel I was on live just a, a little bit ago, guys. Pat D 72, go check him out. He's got some great videos. Go check his channel out. He's growing. He's getting bigger. He's not afraid to interview anyone, and it's awesome. I love the uh, the outgoingness and the and the spunk and the motivation the, and the inspiration that that Pat gives. He has a great story. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. Watch the video from tonight, uh, and you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. More lemonade for Casey. Yeah, more lemonade. <laughs> I wish I was drinking lemonade right now. Uh, what's my drink? Um, this is uh, ice. This is uh, zero calorie. Zero sugar, zero strawberry kiwi ice. I may or may not have splashed a little bit of vodka. Just FYI. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been drinking all this water. And since we didn't have any regular water at the store today because everyone bought it for the hurricane, I bought some flavored water. 
Nothing wrong with that. Who does? Who now does the tie photos? Kate does all of my tie photos. Randy, good friend of uh, the channel. Um, I do require instant payment for my listings. However, if somebody makes a best offer, you cannot require instant payment on those, unfortunately. Uh, Randy, yeah, Kate is doing all of my photos. Absolutely. Pat Dees is the best. He was such a gracious host tonight. I appreciate what he's done. Um, definitely a little vodka. A little? No, just a tiny bit. I... You know what, guys? I've been I've realized that I drink way too much sweet tea and Kool Aid and juice. Too much sugar, way bad for you. And so, literally, I've just cut out all the sugar by having this zero calorie, zero sugar ice water drink. And it's good. This stuff is not bad. I mean, I could sit and drink this all day without the vodka. I mean, on a normal basis, of course, guys. Come on. Uh, anyways, it's good and it, and it's good for you. Part of, you know, what we do is is not probably the best eating fast food and drinking sweet teas and sugars. So this this is good for you. This, this makes me happy to drink this stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. So um, hi, Casey. When you're on the road, do you hold your GoPro in your hand or, or pouch? Um, typically, I hold the GoPro on one of the uh, tripods. So I usually carry like a tripod like this or, mm, well, I can kind of show you how the Canon works. I don't have the GoPro near me, but uh, GoPro is charging somewhere. Anyway, so this is one of the cameras that I use. The GoPro is similar, it has a screw on bottom. So you guys know like the Canon, whatever, you have like the flip up screen. And so what happens is, behind the scenes YouTubers, right? So what happens is these little cameras have the screw holes, oh, there it goes, the little screw holes right there, right? And so you just take this little piece and this just kind of screws on, right? And then you just kind of tighten it down and you got that. And then the tripod comes with the little clip on. Then you've got yourself selfie mode and then you can put it up. Oh, you can talk, you can go like that, you can flip it, you can film what's going on. You get the whole shebang going on. And uh, you got a flexible tripod, and then if you need to mount it on something, you can, you know, mount it just like that. And in theory, it'll just sit. I'm not going to mount it on my speaker because it'll probably fall. But, you know, and then you can sit it like that and do selfie mode. So that's how the cameras work. GoPro is similar. And then if you need quick disconnect, you just disconnect. You hit the two little buttons, disconnect it. And, uh, and then if you need the memory card, this is why it's so easy. You just unscrew the little piece, right? Pop the memory card out, which isn't in there right now, put it in my computer, upload the video to it, put the memory card back in the camera, shut it, and you're back to work. So it's very, very quick, very easy. Love it. Okay, good question. Great question there. Um, uh, that was from Steph, Steph Lab. Uh, okay, so uh, Nightcap, yeah, Donatella, thank you. Do you recommend best offer on all listings or just uh, or be uh, judicious about it? I do best offer on pretty much everything, probably 98%. Uh, I, I think it's great. Zero calorie equals no fun. But you know what? Zero calorie equals uh, no gaining weight, hopefully. Seems like everyone wants sugar. <laughs> Why books marked as bargain or remainder or with any other labels attached may not be listed as new condition to Amazon? Uh, yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure I understand that question. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Do you online arbitrage? No, I don't online arbitrage. Something I don't really do. <laughs> Those aren't to store singular Cheetos. No. Do you have the tripod listed in your descriptions? I don't text this Val, but if you email me rockstarflipper at gmail.com, I'll send it to you. Um, you should get one of those Wi-Fi flashcards. Save you some steps. Deep fried deals. Great, great advice. I should get some Wi-Fi cards. I really should. I've been actually thinking about that. Karen A, how much more do you make during Christmas and the rest of the year? Uh, typically, the sales will double to triple. So if you're doing 3000 a month in sales uh, throughout the entire year, you should definitely aim to double your sales to five or 6000 If you can do more than that, great. Um, but that should be a goal. What percentage of sales do you get feedback from? 10%, literally 10%. If I sell 100 items in a week, I get like 10 feedback if I'm lucky.
Um, what do you do with low ball best offers? I counter all best offers unless they are ridiculous. If I have a $40 item and somebody offers 10 bucks, I will counter it. If they offer me a dollar, like a, a ridiculous, stupid offer, then no, I won't. But uh, pretty much everything else I'll counter. Brian, when could we hang out for drinks? Old fashioned. Anytime you want, brother. You just said that uh, that we got to meet up and, uh, and sit down. So absolutely. I mean, I'm in Tampa all the time. You're welcome over here. Anytime you come over here, you let me know and I'll be headed over to, I go to Orlando pretty often. And uh, I mean, we can meet up in Orlando. We can meet up on the other coast. I just met up with some fabulous people, Mark and uh, Lindsay from um, over in Palm Beach Gardens uh, in Orlando yesterday. So that was fantastic, amazing time. Thank you to both Mark and Lindsay. Uh, how many items do you sell daily? Uh, it depends. Uh, on our regular, the account that you guys can see, we sell you know two or three items a day. On our other account, we sell two or three items a day. Amazon, eh, four, probably four to five. We're probably like 150, 140, 150 items a month. So you add that together, that's what, 10, 11, maybe 12 items a day. Poshmark, we probably sell one item every other day. We don't really do a lot on Posh. And then um, locally, I probably sell about 15 or 20 items a month. So, uh, you know, you add that to the posh, 15 or 20 items a month. You're talking about one a day. I mean, it could be anywhere from 10 to 15 items a day, just depending. I mean, it just all depends. I always sell more on Amazon because I sell high dollar items on Amazon. Um, do I go to estate tag sales to source? I go to estate sales in general. Um, I don't like waiting to the end of estate sales because it seems like everything's picked over, even though you get a deal. How do you set up multiple accounts on eBay? You would need uh, a second email and a second account. Um, you can link them both to the same PayPal as far as I'm aware. I don't do multiple accounts on eBay. I do have a personal and a, and a business account, but I don't do like... Um, like I think a lot of people try to link them together. Mine are sort of separate, even though they're linked through IPs and all. My personal account is where I put electronics and it's run through my social security sole prop. That is the account I've had for a really long time. My business is totally separate. So I think a lot of people try to link it because they want to run different niches, which is fine. Um, but just know that they're linked together. And like, if you ever have a problem with one, you're going to have a problem with two. So um, just keep that in mind. If I link my GoPro account, yeah, I have a GoPro linked. Um, I use the GoPro Hero 7. Um, uh, I had a Amazon affiliate link for the GoPro Hero 7. Anybody that's never used the GoPro, they're waterproof, but the GoPro Hero 7 actually comes with a stabilizer built in. It is super amazing because it is, no matter, you could go like this, and it will still be a stable picture because it's built in with like a gimbal almost. Um, I will go ahead and link the GoPro Hero 7 for you right now. If you just wanna give me just like five seconds. I love the GoPro 7. It's one of the best cameras I've ever used. It's 4K and the picture is amazing. The audio is not the best. GoPros have never been known for their audio, but the video is amazing. Give me just a half a second. All right, I got the link. This is my GoPro Hero 7. And you have to get the black one for the auto stabilizer. There it is. There's the link for the auto stabilizer. GoPro Hero 7. That's what you want. Just linking this for you guys. Give me just a second here. Okay, there we go. All right. Hey, Florida Picker, what's up? Expect deals on Hero 7 with the 8 coming out. Yeah, the 8 is coming out soon. Any known differences on the 8 versus the 7? What glass am I using for my ties? Great. Uh, great question. Uh, look up black acrylic plexiglass on eBay. Black acrylic plexiglass, and you will find it. I paid like $15 for it. Um, Stephen Freeman is a correction officer full-time. Is it worth it? Yes. You can make very good money reselling. Uh, Part-time though, because you have a full-time job, don't expect 
the top of the top. You have to put in what you want to get out from this business. If you're only working a couple hours because you have a full-time job, which I absolutely recommend you do not quit your full-time job until your, your part-time reselling is making double what you're making at your job um, because you have to make your bills and you have to reinvest the money. Um, you know, Build it. Build it slow. Stick with it. Work your job. Make your money. Pay your bills. Save your money and invest in inventory in your business and you will see some growth. Absolutely. What is the most I would pay for Levi jeans brand new with tags? Uh, it depends on the model. Are they like 509s, 569s? What, what model are they? What what gender? What size? You know, honestly, you can pay easily 10 to 15 bucks because usually you'll get 30, 40 dollars, but I wouldn't pay more than that. It just depends on all of it. Uh, I need a Lavalier mic. Yeah, I've been looking at getting one too. West Coast Gaming says, uh, I want to I want to cover this, by the way. Hopefully the storm hits Rockstar Flipper's house. West Coast Gaming. You know, I got to say, a lot of people troll me. A lot of people say bad stuff. But for somebody to come out and say this storm hopefully hits Rockstar's house, you know, I could drop down to his level, I suppose. You know, the worst part is he's got 18 thousand subscribers 18,000 subscribers right and his videos get a hundred views and he came on my channel to say he hopes the hurricane hits my house I have no idea who West Coast gaming is not a clue never heard of him in my life got almost 20,000 subscribers and 7.6 million views. So I don't really know what West Coast Gaming has against me. Really know. I'm just kind of looking at his channel right now, right? Makes me wish I knew who it was so I could expose him. Somebody's been going on my video game YouTube channel just disliking every single video. That's kind of uh, kind of interesting, right? Okay, anyways, does Macari have a PC app download? I don't sell on Macari, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. 1987 Ventures LLC, just got the Hero 7, haven't figured it out yet. Send me a message, I can help you out with that. What is your return rate on Amazon? Uh, I think it's like 2%, I think it's a percent, I'm not sure. Yep, we're, we're gonna be staying safe. Yeah, we're not gonna drop. We're not gonna. We're not gonna drop down to his level. But it's funny that somebody wished that. Somebody with a channel of almost twenty thousand subscribers should know better. Like that's just pure like whatever. Like I, obviously, I don't let it get to me. I don't care. But somebody, you know, I remember when I had twenty thousand subscribers, and I would never outright just come out and be like, "Hey, I I hope somebody you know gets injured or gets damaged or has a disaster hit their home." Like. You have 20,000 subscribers. You know, it could be a 16-year-old kid. We don't know. We have no idea. So, anyways. Um, do you have a good app that will list on eBay and other platforms? So, List Perfectly is a really good cross-posting app. List Perfectly. Um, I have a link to it. If you guys want to try List Perfectly, let me give you a link. Uh, it will cross-post between eBay, Poshmark, Etsy, and uh, Macari. Right, Macari, right? Um, I'm using it right now between eBay and Posh, and it's working super good. It's fantastic. We love it. The owners are awesome, and uh, you can try it out. Let me give you the list perfectly uh, link here. Just as I'm trying to find it. <laughs> of course, I can't find it. Wait, where is my list perfectly? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't find the list perfectly link. Somebody might want to grab it. Uh, oh, got it, got it, got it. This is list perfectly. It's cross posting. There you go. That's the link to list perfectly. Show us your hurricane makers mark stash. I don't have any makers. I have vodka right now. Um, when a news anchor says hunker down, you have a drink? Yes, anytime a news anchor says hunker down, 
You should definitely take a drink. We have um, we have uh, we have the mystery. Look, I'm going to show you guys a, a behind the scenes rock star. Look, I got this from one of my friend Dave's old bars. I stole it. Well, I took it and told him that I was taking it. It's like a Grey Goose bottle service where you put ice and bottles in it. And we got these three bottles. <laughs> nobody actually knows what's in them. They've been in here for almost 10 years. No kidding. And nobody actually knows what they are. And everyone's been too scared to drink them. <laughs> so if we ever get desperate, we can bust out the unknowns. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, you guys put me in a, in a good mood. <laughs> I love seeing the weatherman in the 80 mile an hour winds. Yeah, that's fun times too, right? List Perfectly is working good for me. Yeah, we love List Perfectly. It's a great, great program. Stephen Freeman, eight Pokemon games for 30 bucks. So you're paying, what, $4, a little less than $4 a piece. Uh, make sure they are real. Are they Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced? What are they? Just be careful because Pokemon is very heavily faked. Tina says she could never live on the East Coast with all the storms. Typically, 99% of them are no big deal. You get some nasty rain and some winds. It happens, you know. It is what it is. L. Ricks, uh, I reviewed the store. They made changes. Notice the difference. We're gearing up for fourth quarter. We can't wait. Oh, well, I can't wait to see what you, uh, what you come up with. Make sure you email me. Update me. Show me your store again. Show me your sales updates. Let me know what's going on because I'd love to help you some more. Absolutely, anytime. Uh, last month, I bought a Jim Beam Model A Police car bottle sealed. Now, how do I sell that? How do you sell that? Uh, mysterious, powerful, rare things. Um, you have to sell it as collectible, not for the contents. Uh, Game Boy Advance and the old gray ones and the DS ones. Uh, yeah, make sure they're heavily faked, Steven. Make sure they're real. Budget DIY builds. Love the channel. Thank you so much. Here in Arizona, no rain and hot as heck. I wish it was no rain here, guys. Uh, we've got some serious storm coming in. So, uh, yeah, appreciate it. Uh, yeah, those of you that didn't know, um, I just want to do this before I do head out here in a few minutes. Um, August is the eighth month, and we still have tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. Uh, before the storm hits and I lose my power on Sunday or Monday, I, I do store reviews, and uh, typically I charge a little bit more, but um, for the eighth month, I did a special where it's $8 per store review. Um, so you can just use the link down below. Adam's been linking it. It's $8. I'll review your store. I'll go through everything on eBay and check it out. Titles, photos, descriptions, brands, um, sales, uh, everything that you have, your, your return policies, the whole deal, and I'll tell you what to do and how to fix it. Um, you can also get the store review as a part of the training package. The store review for the eighth month is $8. The training package is $50. You get the store review, which is your eight bucks, plus a year in the VIP group and 125 training videos and 11 guides, all as part of that $50. Best bang for your buck. It's all linked below. Check it out. And if you want to upgrade to the max package, which is 99 bucks, that includes one-on-one -on -one video calls with me to help you fix your sales, your eBay, your Amazon, your Poshmark. One-on-one, -on -one, Skype call, FaceTime call. I use... Um, I jump on here uh, with my iPad, which uh, I'll jump on here with you guys in a call. We'll, we'll, we'll video call each other. We'll talk about it. We'll go through your store while I'm on my computer, which is right here. So I'll do it side by side with you, and we will fix everything that you have going on. So all those options are down below. Check them out if you need help, and I'll be happy to meet with you, video call with you, and, uh, and get, your, get your crap straight. Uh, but, but schedule it before the weekend or schedule it after next Monday and Tuesday when I get my power back because of this storm. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So I'm going to take the last few more minutes of, uh, of questions, and then we'll head out of here. Okay. Uh, Sky of Stars, no worries. Uh, Thrift Trader and Sky of Stars, both late. Uh, better late than never. Uh, we don't have a generator. Yes, we do. Uh, we have one between <laughs> a couple houses. We need to buy some more. Uh, but the generator has to sit outside and run on gas and blah. It's just a huge pain in the butt. We run it for the refrigerator. Um, we don't usually lose power, but we run it for the fridge and the hot water heater and to do different things. Uh, the, the laptops, I have power inverters for the tablet laptops and for our phones um, to charge on. So we'll, we'll still be good. I'll still be in business. I'll still be able to run my business. So we'll, we'll be all right. Sherry, thank you so much for the great call today. It was awesome. I did a one-on-one -on -one video call with Sherry today, and we're getting her store back in, in line. 
Um, going windsurfing in the rain this weekend? No, I don't windsurf and I'm scared of storms. I love storms on TV, but I don't want them near my house. <laughs> they cause damage and they cost money. That's all I know for that. Steven, thank you so much. Appreciate that. And Sparky was late, better late than never. Watch the replay. Just go hang out at Dave's house, Ken says. Yeah, uh, my buddy has a uh, 7,000 square foot house. Could definitely go hang out at his house. <laughs> no doubt about it. He's got five kids, though, so I would rather deal with the rain and the storm than five munchkins. Sorry, DePristo clan. I love you guys, but your five kids are a circus. <laughs> uh, does having junk listed too long without selling? Yes, it will affect the rest of your store, Kelly. Absolutely true. We got to get you some Rockstar private label Tesla power walls. Yeah, solar power the house. <laughs> I like that idea. I do like that idea. Wasn't there some lawsuit from Google about them, though, that they failed or they caught on fire or something? I don't know. There was some something weird about the Tesla roofs. Um, good night, Jeff. Thank you so much. Uh, Northwest Florida, Mick Jam family, be safe out there. Good thing you're prepared. Thank you for uh, dropping in. Sparky, yeah, Labor Day. Make sure you guys run sales because if you're not in Florida, people will buy from you. If you're in Florida, no one wants to buy from you because they're like, oh, you won't be able to ship to us. You're going to get blown off the face of the earth. Thanks, Hurricanes. It's true, though. People don't tend not to buy from people in Florida if they see it, if they notice it. And also, I think eBay drops our search because they don't want people buying from us. Just a speculation, but I think so. Does that sound right to everyone? Does that sound like fair? Maybe it makes sense. I don't know. Maybe. Anyways. Deb says she'll hang out at Dave's house. Yeah. Walmart said Tesla solar was catching on fire. Yes. Terrence just put it out there. Money M. Good night. How long do I leave items on my store that are seasonal? Year round. We don't really take items down. We'll just list them year round. We sell stuff during the rest of the year that probably shouldn't sell. So it is what it is. Um. How long is too long? After four or five months of an item sitting, then you got to drastically try to get rid of it. If an item is six to nine months or older, then it's way, way too long sitting. Way, way too long. Sparky's in Arizona where it's really, really hot. Yeah, it's, it's really hot in Florida except when we have storms and things go down and, yeah, hurricanes happen. <laughs> Florida has crazy weather. There's no doubt about it. One day it's raining, one day it's 100 degrees, and one day there's a hurricane. No doubt about it. But I love where I live. Being in all honesty, I would never leave Florida. Not Maybe I would, but it would take a lot to get me to leave here in Florida. I love where I live. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of frustration. But at the end of the day, I absolutely love where I live. I love this area. I love Tampa. I love Florida in general. And it's everything I could ever want. You know, I didn't live in Florida when I grew up. I lived in Maryland. So it's a big difference. 115 degrees. Yeah. No. Thank you. Cost of living in paradise, hurricanes. I'll agree with that, 100%. 115 degrees was uh, Vegas when we were out there. No, thank you. It does get to 100 degrees here, but that's it. And it's, uh, you know, people are like, oh, Florida's humid. It is humid here, but we live on the Gulf Coast. So we get golf winds, Gulf Coast winds. And so that cools it down. And it's not as bad. It's not as humid. You live in Orlando or West Palm Beach, much more humid than it is here on the Gulf Coast. Just saying. Um, yep. Glad I'm in Missouri, <laughs> Tampa, LL Chamberlain high class of not saying <laughs> Chamberlain high. I do know where that is. I'm familiar with that. So, uh, welcome in, uh, Floridian. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Uh, if you live in Florida, be safe, prepare for the storm, get yourself some canned goods and some ramen noodles and some Mac and cheese and some waters and, uh, some vodka. If you have it, uh, thank you so much to Pat D's and Kimmy for having me on their live show. Adam linked it in there. Thank you to my admin, Adam for adminning. And, uh, you can check out his channel, Adam's exploits. Please click his channel. If, even if you don't watch more than a video or two, or you're not interested, please click Adam's name right there. Adam's exploits, go to his YouTube channel, click the subscribe button, and please give him a chance. Watch his videos. He's got good content. He's got good guests. He does guests all the time. He has Raken and me and everyone else on his channel. New, big, small, little, medium, everything in between. Please check out Adam's channel. He's so kind to admin my group here and uh, or my Facebook and my YouTube. And uh, we appreciate Adam and everything that he does. Uh, so give him some love. And also Pat D's and Kim for having me on their live show earlier today. Please, please, please go check out those channels. I appreciate everyone. If you have more questions, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. And if you need extra help from the training, sourcing bolos, or the store review, only $8. I'll look through your entire store. 
Use the links down below, and I'll get to them this entire weekend. Be safe to all you Florida people and anyone who's impacted by the storm. If you need help, contact eBay, contact me, and I'll help you out uh, any way that I can. Uh, enjoy the replay if you watch this, and I'll see everyone next time, next week, 9 p.m. Eastern, Thursday. And uh, have a wonderful night, guys.